Greetings YouTube, it is the day after the severe wind and I just want to show you what the batteries are doing and, and get the time in there. I quite like having that watch there so it can make uh, you know, the videos with the time in, I don't have to keep saying what the time is. I ended up having to put the brake on because there was a horrendous noise coming from the turbine which I've tracked down to two of the wire connectors which basically melted, which were like that together but had melted so I'm hoping it's that. I've pulled them apart for now and I'm just gonna take the brake off. You see the rectifier there, that was getting really hot the other night, but I kind of expected that. The inverter did its job, uh, whereby I can just load it up with, you know, a 500 watt light, which is that. Or in the video, in the videos you'll see, I was running a 750 watt grinder for a bit and a 920 watt belt sander. Sorry, I got disturbed by a phone call and completely lost my uh, way but the batteries you can see they're sitting on 23.73 so that isn't too bad uh, to take the brake off all i need to do is uh, the red wire needs to go in there and the black wire which you can see there just needs to go in there so it's pretty simple i'm just going to do that now there is probably enough wind to get the turbine going but nowhere near as much compared to uh, the other day just going to move this thing for now so the red one first it's going to go in there And the black one goes in there. I need to change the position of that to be a bit higher, but it's all good. So that's everything connected up properly. You see the black one from there goes to the side of the unit from the top of the shunt. Uh, the black one there, there, no, there actually goes through the back and joins to that. That is to the battery positive, uh, negative, sorry. And if we go down on the bottom side, you'll see you've got another one here, which goes to the side of the unit. And then you've got this one here, which actually goes to two places. One of the wires goes into the side of the unit itself. And this wire here on the bottom of the shunt, that goes to the negative of the rectifier. Yeah, so that one here, the bottom outside of the shunt, we've got that one goes to the unit. And this one here goes to the uh, negative of the rectifier. And then this one here, so the power comes from the positive side of the rectifier to here, then is split by one cable that goes to the unit, which obviously helps sensor stuff. And then this cable here joins here, and that is to the battery uh, positive. We'll film it for a minute. If it doesn't start spinning, it may be knackered. You can see the state of the uh, wires where they've melted. You can see all the water that's here from the other day. It's looking good, my friends. I can't hear any noises. Obviously, it's not going to make any power going around like that, but that's good. Just trying to get going. Just want to see a single solitary watt. Hey, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, I think we're okay, my friends. It's a bit of wind. So yeah, for those wondering if she survived, she sure did, and she actually thrived. That's more like it. So, I think she's fine. Sweet. I've got the multimeter plugged in. And I thought it would be a good idea to check we're getting a similar voltage from uh, both sets. So at the moment it's saying about six and declining. I'm going to move the black one over to the other one and hopefully it'll stay about the same. No, it's definitely uh, less voltage. If I do those two, the two on the right, it's saying 6.5. If I put that black one in the one on the left, it goes down. So, uh, redo the wiring connectors, I guess. Right, that's saying 2.6. Oh, that's saying bugger all now. 
Oh, maybe it's right. Yeah, I think it's about right. It's just only just turning around. Mm, does seem to be a bit down, but what I will have to do is I will. Sorry, I'm trying to think. I will certainly have to replace those uh, bad connectors in the wiring outside. Uh, not got the minerals to do it today, but what we'll do is when there's some better wind, we'll test that again. Sweet. Well, there you go. Uh, one of those wires wasn't plugged in correctly. No, I think the motor's fine, uh, but obviously it's got to come down. But for any any people who wondered if it's for any people who wondered if it's still working and, and everything, that it definitely seems to be the case. Uh, need to replace that wiring, but it's all good. Sweet. This is a quick video for my regular subscribers, just to let you know she survived, my friends. There were a few hiccups on the way, which you'll see in the videos I'm uploading, but it's still working, still producing power. So yeah. I thought you'd like to know that, but yeah, do keep watching the videos because there were some hairy moments, I'll be honest with you.